Hey guys, welcome to another WRX swap 6, 5 to 6 speed from Legacy GT, Japanese version, WRX 11. I hope that makes sense. There it is. We're doing the shifter today. I should mention actually that it's been at least a month, maybe two, if, since I recorded anything. I'm still waiting, waiting on the engine. It's been over six months since this thing got here. Anyways, here we have the shifter options. This guy is the original, but this one had an issue. As you can see, could have just replaced this and call it a day, but no, we want fancy stuff. So this is a brand new shifter for an 06, 07, and no, 02. 04, 05, 06 STI and the, here we have this fancy guy the short shifter you know it takes a shorter time to shift like it was a long time before and we have this guy whatever this does not sure I, I guess it's for a different ball in the inside I don't know this did not come with instructions this is a torque solution. Oh, never mind. 04 to 19. Short, short shifter combo. Oh, okay. I was missing something. This part, I was looking for it, and I think I know where it is. This guy here. Had a guy missing an action, but I just realized where it, it is. So anyway, this goes mounts to the body and goes I think this way like that and they did provide two new bolts and we have the bushing that's gonna go where are you going to go here oh yeah right here so you gotta remove this and install that all right let's go underneath the car and see what we are missing now oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So I kind of as I put this in, there's a pin you gotta drive through to attach this piece. And I forgot that I can't take this out. Again, this was like a month or two ago. And that I cannot remove this bolt this way or that way. Obviously that way, but no way I'm gonna remove it this way because you know the car is there. So I have to drive that pin out. To drive the pin out, I have to remove this bracket. And to remove this bracket, I have to remove these three 12 mil bolts. I already started removing one, and then I remembered I have a YouTube channel. I should record it. So that's what I gotta do. I gotta remove these three. This will come out, and then through here, right through here, you got a perfect aim to drive that pin out hopefully you can see right underneath here the edge of this sh part of the shifter right there okay you gotta you know grab a punch or something tiny bit smaller in size than the actual pin and just get to hammering got an update check this out this is like about five six days later or so torque solution subaru solid linkage u-joint ts su 474 check this out this is this is a nice piece the machining is just oh it's it's perfect tig welded very nice okay so i guess i'm just gonna quickly put this on all right there shouldn't be any i know one is shorter than the other so this only goes one well not really one way but you can see this is offset so 
this goes the shorter distance here goes up so it's gonna inst get installed like this and then this there's a c-clip inside there squeeze that out remove it then this should come out before that I gotta remove cut the zip tie and remove these two Phillips tiny screws and this should this should come up also gotta loosen this up that's a pin okay so I gotta drive the pin out um, never done this before but that's what it what it looks like and then uh, you know do a reverse install all right guys I'm gonna go through this, this is, you know I just went through this so I'm just gonna do it quickly and we'll get back to this okay guys I thought I'd give you an update so got the new guy in this obviously now when you tighten these nuts they are nylon on the inside you wanna you know obviously it can be tight okay you want movement but you don't want any play so tighten this up as far as you think you know basically you're getting rid of the play this way okay I'm trying to move it this way and this guy this way this one's a bit tight but I'm gonna leave it because it's loose here but it's a bit tight here so it should you know wear out a little bit but there is no play this way same thing with this guy okay I'm moving it this way I still have a tiny bit of play nice okay so all this should move freely now this guy after driving this pin out this pin actually holds this excuse me this guy here so you have an understanding the pin goes through here to hold this on so you actually can select reverse so once you drive the pin out you remove that you remove this this guy here okay you know with the two little Phillips screws from underneath and you know that's that's pretty much it you gotta have a small punch okay or use a nail cut off the grind off the tip of a nail and you know use that as a punch uh, and now this this plastic that's on the inside there once you remove the c-clip you can't just force it out this the inside plastic this cut up part of it needs to come out with the ball okay there's two rubber o-rings inside those need to come up with it so you want to kind of hold this as straight as possible and kind of play around move around and just slightly gently move it up so the, that you know the, the the white plastic comes up with it then it's just a matter of popping the ball out putting the new one in and pushing it back in make sure it's greased up and all that okay so now i have to put this in here and drive the pin it, actually what i'm gonna do is here work this push this in so you can a piece inside i'm not going to show it to you because you're not going to see it but you can actually you can actually twist this end to expose the hole there we go i don't know if you see this or not there's the hole on the bottom and there it goes so this is not going to be easy where is the hole I just noticed something these two are different so I have to go underneath the car and see this is a bigger washer this is a smaller washer I believe this goes 
the bigger washer will go towards to the left side of the vehicle. We'll dive under and find out. Okay, diving under didn't help, but I can tell you for sure because I have another shifter that the bigger the bigger washer goes this way. It's going to be on the right side. Okay, so got to keep that in mind. What I should have done was do this first and then install this bolt here. But that's too late. So I have to somehow stand this up. There's a piece of wood here. Maybe use this oil bottle. Okay, now I have, we have something going on over here. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Because I don't know at this point if I'm driving it in to the th thing or not. And I'm not. And I can't take this pin out any <laughs> anymore. I'm gonna have to line it up from the other side now. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna bore you with this. You know what to do. You gotta make your make up your own system. I'm basically gonna look for this end through the other hole and uh, yeah it should be fun all right guys another update this is my setup had to use a vise because it's just impossible without three or more arms so as you can see got a light so I can see inside here's the pin and check this out okay that's what I'm doing so I know it went in just slightly and that's enough for me to flip it over and finish what I've done was I had a nail grind it down you know adjusted the little thing drove it in so I knew it's you know lined up and I just was hammering slightly lightly in the bottom until that pin went inside the line slightly so I know it's not coming out now I can flip it over like I said and finish it up Still got the bushings. I'm gonna oil these, well, grease these up. But no grease was provided, so I'm gonna use silicone. And that is it, boys. I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna show you the result. I'm gonna switch some gears. Update soon. The shifter is in. Do yourself a favor. Once you, you know, put the gear stick up through, mount this. Mount this first. The performance one that they sent did not fit. It was straight. This is angled. Okay, so that I had to use the factory one. It's got a little bit of movement, but not bad. Always change it later. This should, you know, once you undo this, this should come down and should be easy to replace this. Then you want to, this bracket was not in, the three bolts. So once you put this in, drive that in into the selector and push the pin through, hammer that pin. Because this falls off very easily, okay? So you want to, here right now it's neutral. 
you want to drive that pin in so it won't come out and then you want to install this bracket tighten up the three bolts then uh, this is for reverse that pulls for for reverse last a little pin damn it then uh, this bolt obviously and uh, let's, you're pretty much done underneath here takes a little, little bit of time you know I had to clean out these threads for these bolts and that's it we got our our so I still gotta tighten some of this stuff up but we're good over here obviously you gotta install the the big transmission bracket drive shaft you know exhaust mid pipe and the heat shield and all that stuff check this out six reverse nice short gears these springs side to side are actually inside the transmission uh, they are replaceable I believe from the outside but you gotta I think you gotta take the transmission out anyways gotta tighten these up and put the plastic bezels back in and that is it for this one that is next up I think engine so engine is next well you know we still gotta do the clutch and everything I'm waiting on these camber plates cannot install these uh, you know shown because there's a lot of play right up in here okay I need two hands to show you uh, there's inside that ball and these are replaceable They're, they are pricey the rear ones no camber plates on this vehicle but from the looks of it I think there's going to be plenty of negative camber in the back but these are going to be adjustable I don't know if I showed this but that's ready to go you know the paint all right guys see you next time